everyone, I'm Devin and this is Mitch and we are Roadside Trippers. We live in Orlando, Florida where theme parks are a way of life. But we also like to explore outside of the theme park, so join us as we explore Florida and the world. This Duncan is out of this world. Starting our day off at Duncan Donuts. Dunky Donuts. Where you can get some pretty delicious vegan items. You can Where's order <laughs> You can order the Beyond sausage sandwich. Just get it without egg and cheese. It looks plain, Jane, but it's so tasty. And Mitch likes to add that to his, but I'm not a fan. But I do have a side of hash browns and a cold brew with oat milk and hazelnut syrup. Yum. And Mitch has a very appropriate shirt today. <laughs> to start at Invasion Station, which is just a gift shop. I'd like to know, I'm already starting to feel like this guy because it's almost 90 and it's too hot. <laughs> it's too hot. Second stop of the day is the Roswell Visitor Center. Hey what are you doing? We are totally getting some alien goggles. Talk louder. Alien goggles. Roswell uh, Visitor Center, you get a sweet picture for free 99. Send you a digital copy to your email. That's yes, great. they will. insisted that we pay five dollars a person and you go and, and you can take pictures with aliens so here we go uh -oh. <laughs> all right you go and she said close the door behind you how do you open it <laughs> Stoners. Someone is loving life right now. As we got here, experiment 125, the disembowelments. <laughs> this is intense. Oh, I was just having a little barbecue. Why is his hand in his pants? <laughs> drunk. Okay. Hey, there's a duck here. Hey. A little taste of Florida. Look at these little shoes. 
Why is this, I can't like, believe you're why touching it. Why is this kid so tiny? Like, yikes. You don't know what alien, how big aliens get. That could be a full size alien. Oh, an alien shitter. This is the best five bucks ever. Were you filming? Yes. That's our cue. Huh? So that's our cue. You need controls? Like <laughs> Look at those creepy, look at those creepy, no headed, whatever they are. Vultures. <laughs> space riders, riding around in the space mobile, because it's space, space. Space I have to say, worth the five bucks, in my opinion, pretty great. So we are about to embark on the alien the UFO Museum. Uh, masks are still required here. I mean, that's how New Mexico has kind of been unclear on yeah. anywhere you go. So it's business to business. So make sure you look at the signs to see if you have to wear a mask or not. The American Broadcasting Company and affiliated stations present headline edition with Taylor Grant. Today's edition presents a roundup of the latest developments in the finding of a flying disc. Late this afternoon, a bulletin from New Mexico suggested that the widely publicized mystery of the flying saucers may soon be solved. Army Air Force officers reported that one of the strange discs had been found and inspected sometime last week. Our correspondents in Los Angeles and Chicago have been in contact with Army officials endeavoring to obtain all possible late information. Joe Wilson reports to us now from Chicago. The Army may be getting to the bottom of all this talk about the so-called flying saucer. As a matter of fact, the 509th Atomic Bomb Group headquarters at Rockwell, New Mexico, reports that it has received one of the discs which landed on a ranch outside Rockwell. The disc landed at a ranch at Corona, New Mexico, and the rancher turned it over to the Air Force. Rancher W.W. W. Brazil was the man who discovered the saucer. Colonel William Blanchard of the Rothwell Air Base refuses to give details of what the flying disc looked like. In Fort Worth, Texas, where the object was first sent, Brigadier General Roger Ramey says that it is being shipped by air to the AAF Research Center at Wright Field, Ohio. A few moments ago, I talked to officials at Wright Field, and they declared that they expect the so-called flying saucer to be delivered there, but that it hasn't arrived as yet. Roswell, let's talk about it. The museum was very educational and pretty fun, would mm -hmm. you say? Yeah. I think I need to put this on first. <laughs> um, got it on backwards. <laughs> yeah, because there's a right way to wear it. Um, 
all the touristy shops were definitely touristy shops. If yeah. you were coming to visit here, I would say you only need one day. Half a day. Yeah, half day. You could do a pass through. Yeah. Um, it's hot as all get out. It's 106, I think. I could see why people think that they've seen aliens. <laughs> you got to give credit to Cody for that one. I will. <laughs> it's hot, and our camper is hot, and we're hot. And it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> Our AC is not keeping up right now. Later gators. Later a million gators.